Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. Thanks for joining me. I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for supporting this channel. I'm growing subscribers every day. I'm really amazed by the growth of Fragmental. I never really thought it could get to this stage. It's down to you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. It's great to connect with you all and have a conversation. In today's review, I'm going to be looking at the new release from Parfums Vintage, and that is King Intense. Oh, hang on a minute. I just need to do a Jeremy. That's better. Stay tuned to FM. Parfums Vintage is a UK company. They've come out with several fragrances over the last year or two. They tend to focus on cloning Creed fragrances and let's not beat around the bush, that's what this company does primarily. They're cloning popular fragrances. So if you're not into clones, clones aren't for everybody and I can respect and understand people's reasons. This video is for the people who are interested in this company, interested in clones or just interested in my opinions on any fragrances. So if that's not you, feel free to surf along to another channel. Okay, I haven't had a chance to try all the fragrances from Parfums Vintage, but I believe the first release was Pineapple Vintage, and then we had Pineapple Vintage Intense, Pineapple Vintage Noir, which were all different takes on Creed's Aventus, and then we had Emerald Isle, Verbena Fields, quite recently they were takes on Creed's Green Irish Tweed. We've also had Rush of Unicorns, which was a fantastic take on Creed's Millicim Imperial. I've reviewed that one recently, you can check out the uh, Unicorns review up here for that one. And we've also had X-Batch, which was a hybrid of Sauvage and Aventus, so taking the most popular designer on the market and potentially the most popular niche on the market, combining them together. X-Batch uh, was a lovely fragrance. I've tried that one, I really enjoyed that. And we've also had Intrigo Devastante, which was a clone of the discontinued Dolce & Gabbana Byman, which I've tried as well, and really enjoyed that one too. Let's start with having a quick look at the bottle. And as we get into a close-up, we can see these lovely little spiny bits on the body of the pineapple that look hard but they're actually really soft and nice to touch and as we move up to caress the leaves they're rigid but nice to just stroke up and down oh i love pineapple oh sorry wrong insert so as always you get that really nice unique shape to the parfums vintage fragrances the others had stickers on this has kind of a, a different type of gold uh, metallic sticker so it just has a little bit of a different look uh, really nice i think it looks quite classy um, it's a wooden cap and uh, it fits on really snugly as well so nice bottle the box is pretty much the same design as always you've got the creed like box and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's little um, pineapples dotted all around the box, which uh, add a really nice, um, nice little bit of detailing. And on the back, we have the, uh, the painting that is on the back of all the Parfums Vintage boxes. So if you're into boxes, I think you'll quite like this one. If you're not into boxes, don't worry about it. Let's get the pricing out of the way first. So Pineapple Vintage Intense is gonna cost you $79 or the equivalent of 62, 63 pounds. So still quite expensive. It isn't cheap juice at all, but you are getting high quality ingredients in this across the range of all the Parfums Vintage. In terms of clones, they are high quality and uh, I think you can tell that they source really high quality ingredients so they don't they don't scrimp on the ingredients that are used in these fragrances. Yes you might be able to find partial bottles of Aventus in groups or maybe even decants for a similar price. That's up to you. Um, if you would prefer to have the original Aventus in its bottle or in a decant over the Parfums Vintage then that's just a choice you've got to make. If you want the full presentation, if you want to invest in the Parfums Vintage company and have the full packaging, then um, perhaps this one is one to consider. But certainly if you buy Aventus at full retail, it is gonna be upwards of double the cost of this one. So in terms of full retail pricing, this is definitely the better option. So why are Parfums Vintage releasing so many different iterations of the Aventus scent profile? Well, Aventus is probably one of the most popular fragrances in the world. It's certainly one of the most popular niche fragrances. Most people who are into fragrances either own Aventus, 
in a bottle or decants or at least have heard of Aventus. So it's a really popular fragrance and I feel like, you know, when you're into fragrances, I myself can be guilty of sometimes forgetting a little bit about Aventus. You know, when I first smelled it, yes, it blew me away and I wore it quite a bit. And then, particularly reviewing a lot of fragrances, I smell very um, uh, complex fragrances sometimes. And you're always looking for that next fragrance that really takes you by surprise and, and blows your mind. So sometimes I think Aventus can, can just get a little bit forgotten about in terms of how good a scent this is. If I have any friends or work colleagues that I think may have an interest in fragrances, if they ask me what I'm wearing, if they show an interest, uh, I'll often point them in the direction of Aventus. I'll often give them a decant of some of my Aventus or some of the clones of Aventus, just so it can open their eyes up to, uh, to, to how good a scent it is. And whenever I introduce someone and they smell Aventus for the first time, I see in them, in their reactions, uh, my reaction the first time, and their minds are blown. They smell it and they just think, you know, this is amazing. And they say, Chris, where can I get this scent from? I really love it. So we can't forget how popular and how good a scent Aventus is. The other thing is, Aventus, since the year it was released, has had lots of different batches and it's quite well known within the community that the different batches have slightly different uh, strengths of certain notes. In particular, in some batches we have uh, a more boosted pineapple or a juicier pineapple. In other batches, it seems to be the, the birch that uh, is more prominent and sometimes even causing Aventus to have a more smoky scent. So lots of different iterations of Aventus. I think maybe the batches differ due to availability of ingredients. Maybe in a certain year, in a certain harvest, uh, Creed can use certain ingredients and then they have to look to sourcing the ingredients from different places year on year, which could account for the, the differences in batches. I enjoy all batches of Aventus. Basically, you've got the same scent profile whichever batch you have. Yes, you can pick out certain subtle differences, but at the end of the day, it's the same scent and I really enjoy it. The Aventus I own is a 2016 batch. I really enjoy this. I'm really pleased I've got this batch because I find it to be a good balance of the pineapple, of the birch. I don't think one is overriding the other. Um, so I'm very happy to, to have this one. So I've been testing King Intense against my original Aventus. And also I've been testing it against an earlier release from Parfums Vintage, which is Pineapple Vintage Intense. So I had this sprayed on this arm. I had King Intense on this arm. I was testing them side by side, giving them a good sniff. I found Pineapple Vintage Intense to have more of a boosted pineapple note. Now, I wouldn't say it was a juicier pineapple. It was almost more diluted to me compared to this one. This smelled just a touch more watered down, if I'm honest. So the pineapple was more prevalent in this one, but in terms of the overall scent, it didn't seem quite as strong. This one I found to be a really nice balance of the pineapple side of things and the birch side of things. So out of these two, I definitely preferred King Intense over Pineapple Vintage Intense. Now the other version of Aventus that I just want to mention, one of my subscribers a few months ago very kindly sent me a vintage batch of Aventus. It's 13 P01, I believe it is. And this is known to be a more birch heavy iteration of Aventus. This is pretty smoky actually. You spray this on and um, you're almost overwhelmed with, with how smoky this one is. So for me, the birch in this is too dominant. I prefer the batches of Aventus that have a nice balance between the birch and the pineapple. I really enjoy this one. And in the air, perhaps you wouldn't be able to tell much difference, but sprayed side by side. Again, I had this on this arm and this one on this arm. So testing side by side, this was definitely a more smoky version of Aventus. And again, over this vintage Aventus, I definitely preferred the more balanced King Intense. So let's compare it to my original bottle of Aventus, which I mentioned was a 2016 batch. Now sprayed side by side, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really detect any difference. I've heard some other reviewers say that there were subtle differences, that they felt that they could detect the higher quality in Creed, which was due to certain ingredients available to Creed that perhaps aren't available to Parfums Vintage. Perhaps my nose isn't as refined, but to be honest, I didn't detect much difference. So I found 
that King Intense was a great, almost an exact, well, I will say an exact copy of my 2016 Aventus. So that's good news for me. It means I won't drain my Aventus quite as quickly. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I will probably, uh, on one wearing of Aventus, I'll use this, and then the next time I choose to wear Aventus, I'll go for this. So gradually, I will go through both of these bottles, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll end up having each one for a little bit longer. Okay, so that's my take on it. I find this to be a really good balance of the Aventus scent profile. So really nice pineapple detectable there, really nice birch. And of course, we've got all the other things going on in there as usual with Aventus, the black currant, the ambergris, the musk. So it's a really beautiful fragrance. So what I feel is going on in this is something similar to what I felt with Emerald Isle and Rush of Unicorns, in that it just felt like it was um, a thick fragrance with high quality ingredients and I just thought that it was really nicely balanced. So if you were thinking about buying uh, King Intense or any version of Aventus then you've either got the real thing and I'm not sure how this compares to perhaps a 2018 batch of Aventus but I can compare it to my 2016 and where I feel that is really nicely balanced this is also really nicely balanced so if you're unsure whether you might prefer a Ventus that has a boosted pineapple or boosted birch then I'd say this was a good option to go for let's quickly talk about the performance longevity I'll get 8 to 10 hours out of this which is great and that matches the original Aventus that I own in terms of projection again it matches my Aventus which is around 2 to 3 hours so whilst I wouldn't say Aventus is an absolute beast for me it is a really good solid performer no arguments in terms of the performance of original Aventus or of King Intense to sum up I think this is an excellent scent it's got a lovely thick rich luxury feel to it definitely seems to have high quality ingredients so I'm really impressed with this Damien Stammers from Parfums Vintage I think has nailed it with this one and I'm not really sure where he can go in terms of Aventus clones after this one I would say this is a great interpretation and for me personally there wouldn't need to be any more versions of Aventus from Parfums Vintage this is the ultimate one for me so Damien if you were wondering whether you could rest and put Aventus to bed and uh, not clone it anymore then personally I would say you can okay that's enough from me I hope you enjoyed listening to my take on King Intense if you've got any more questions that I haven't answered in this video please feel free to drop some comments down below have you tried this one do you enjoy it again let me know and also what are your thoughts on the rest of the line from Parfums Vintage because there are a house that are doing interesting things in terms of cloning fragrances so drop some comments and uh, let's have a conversation please like comment subscribe don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications and until next time keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good <laughs>